Hello, quilters and chatters. How are you? Hello, quilters and chatters. Oh, got a hair thing sticking out here. I don't know what that's about. No matter how hard I try, I am not going to. That's going to drive me nuts today. You know what? Sometimes maybe, mm, uh, should I do it? What do you think? I, oh, uh, well, let me see. That's going to drive me nuts. There we go. I tucked it out of the way. Hi, quilters and chatters. Hello, dear hearts. Whoops, got to clean glasses off, too. It is so good to be here again today. All right, here we go. Now, uh, let me get my chat started. Sometimes it doesn't want to live chat. Here we go. All right. Hello, quilters and chatters. I am here today. It is very good to see you. In fact, it was crazy. I got a couple phone calls, some things I had to help with. And then I got easily distracted because I realized that Cooper Dane and I were going to a quilt show in a couple months. We hadn't made reservations. So I was trying to do that. Oh, Saddlebags, haven't seen you in a while, hon. How good to see you. Welcome back. Today, we're working on a, um, we're going to be working on a landscape. Remember, I promised y'all a few months ago, I promised y'all that I would do a landscape with you. So I have it. Today And not only do I have one, but because I'm a crazy nut, I did two of them. So, if anyone, if you'd like my free patterns for the beach landscapes, Send me an email at, send me an email at our time to quilt at twc.com. And then I will send you email copies of my free pattern. And how I did it is I divided, I divided it into six pages, each one. There's beach number one and beach number two. Divided them into six pages. And that way you can print them out on normal printer paper, tape them together, and you're ready to go. So, let me finish getting set up because I'm running late, as usual. So, you know, the new year didn't change the fact that I'm running late. Also, Saddlebags, we are doing a new year quilt called The Fleur. And if you would like my instructions and templates for that, let me know. Send me an email also. And in fact, I need to leave my email box open so I'll see if I've gotten an email from you. Okay. So I I now have I now have the email box opened. <clears throat> Let me do something really quick. I'm a little worried that some of the ladies are over at my other email. So let me zip over there, guys. I'll be right back, okay? Let me see. Mm. 
Okay. I don't see where I have the other two things going. Let me check one more place. Let me check one more place, guys. Okay. So I think I had three streams kind of open. I'm not, I don't know how to do all of this stuff really good. So I'm trying to delete the other two so they will realize to come to the mainstream. So let's see if I did okay. All right. Let us now see. All right, hopefully I didn't lose you. Saddlebags is still here. Very good. I'm hoping, oh, there's four people on now. Okay, good. Saddlebags is my only talker today. All right, now I have my email set up. So if any of you want the pattern, let me show you what I've got. All right, I have drawn the pattern on Golden Threads paper. So this is what it looks like. Now, I know that looks just a little complicated, but don't worry. It's not that bad. So this is a scene with sand dunes over here. In fact, let me, ooh, I should have, hold on one second. I need to open the photos and show you Kind of what they look like because the patterns don't hit. Hi, Diane. I'm sorry, Diane. Were you in the other room? Because I set up two like previews and I think that people think they can go in them. So we're glad you're here, sweetheart. All right. So let me go to the pictures so you can see what I have planned. All right. Hold on just a second. Let me grab this camera. And I will show you this, this one I just showed you is going to look like, whoops, let me get it here. Whoops. Now let me go in closer. Okay. See how there are two sand dunes in this. Well, I started with that for my um, reference. Then I wanted to show more of an actual ocean. So then I switched. The right-hand side is going to be more inspired by this. So it's this one plus this added to the right. Okay? And I did add a little sunset in there, but... It's going to be like right there because I love sunsets. All right. The other pattern. Now let me go to my other pattern. And my other, whoops, not this one. Let me see. Oh, here we go. The other pattern. Well, I include these photos if you want, just because I get a lot of inspiration for waves and everything. Let me head back. Hold on just a second. I need to go to the beach, the other beach theme. Okay, beach two, I believe. Beach two. Okay, the other pattern is based off of this photo. Okay, so see the sunset over there and this beach scene. And you can even see that I, there are a couple people that I represent. Now, this is the photo that I got my inspiration from. And this will show you what that pattern. And this is pattern number two. Then... I will close back. 
Oh, and I also include, this is a, a wonderful quilt that had been at the Mid-Atlantic Quilt Show. And I will give you the picture of this to inspire you how she did the frothy waves. So now let me go back to beach number, scene number one. And show you again. And I will include the photo inspiration so that you, this is beach scene number two, I believe, or number one. Which one is this? Anyway, let me see. Hold on. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, I'm close this out. Okay, close this out, don't save, all right, close this out, all right, so that beat scene with all the dunes is beat scene number one, and I will send you these copies like this, and the photo that I used for, whoops, boy, this is not... Why is this so blurry all of a sudden? I think I've got it in too soon. Whoop, too close. Oh, there we go. All right. So enough of that. But now you at least know where I got the ideas for this. Okay. <laughs> windows, 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 windows. And let me double check. Whoops. This is what it looks like when you try to be a filmmaker and you have no training. Yay! And now the camera's crooked. Okay, let me fix it, guys. Hold on just a second. All right, here we go. All right. For some reason, it looks yellowy in here now. I don't know why. I might have hit something on the camera, but that's just what we've got. All right. Bonnie's here. Thank you, sweetheart. Hello, Mariella. You're not late. I'm still, I am still getting it together. So I'm going to try to print something. See if Mark can toss them down for me so I can more easily show you what the two beach scenes look like. Okay. Hold on just a second. Let me get this going. Nothing like being prepared. This is nothing like being prepared. So, <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. Let me see if I can get him to print, to throw these down. I'll send them to the printer. Print them, and then that way I can say, okay, this is scene number one. This is scene number two. So I'll print this. Cross your fingers all day. I'll tell you about it in a few minutes. It's just been one of those days, ladies. Ah, uh, one of those days. And I even got up earlier to try to prevent this from being one of those days. And it still was one of these days. <laughs> I th I'm starting to think that's just real life, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So now I want to print this. So... It was so funny. So I was working on the pattern, ma making the patterns. And I started out a couple weeks ago with one scene. But then I saw another photograph and I went, oh, I like that too. So, Mark, hopefully they're printing. And then he can toss them down to me. All righty. I will be right back. We've got lots to talk about. And I'd like to see how your first week of 2019 is going. I think this is going to be an exciting year, ladies. If you know what I mean, it's going to be, it started off with a bang and I think it's going to continue. So hold on just a second. Let me get these copies from Mark. Okay. What would I do without my Mark? <clears throat> Ma? What? 
see if my printer put off two, if it's printed two things, please. And grommets, welcome to come down. Throw them. And grommets, welcome. Yes, just throw up here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sweetheart. <coughs> Yay, I have them. I wonder what people think if they just tune in right now and they're looking at a wall. It's like this crazy woman. Thank goodness, those of you who know me, y'all are kind of used to this stuff. But I bet you new people tune in and go, uh-uh, I'm not waiting around for this. What the heck is this? So now I can show you more easily. This is, let me mark on them which pattern they are. I have my, um, for the ladies of you who are belong to the Yahoo group, the patterns are already over in the files. If you want to print them out, tape them together with me, I can show you how to tape them together. And then we can start on this. Um, for those of you who are not members of our Yahoo group, um, we'd like to invite you. But also, you can just shoot me an email at our time to quilt. Let's see. Our time to quilt at twc.com. And if you send me that email while we're sitting here talking, I will shoot you back a reply with the pattern on it. But let me let you know which one is which. So I send you the right one. Some of you might want both. Then you'd be my kind of gal and you're welcome to both. Or guy. I don't want to discriminate because we welcome everybody here at our table. So let me check really quickly and double check which one is which again. Because I don't want to tell you wrong. All right. So this is beach number two. I'm going to write it on here. So when I hold it up for you, you'll know which one to ask for. So this is beach number two. And I was going to tell you, I was looking forward. I was getting ready. This is beach number two. Okay. It's got a nice sunset over there. All right, and then this is beach number one. Here is beach number one. Okay, so now when I refer to them, it'll help us. I'll hold it up and go... <laughs> You'll know which one you want. <clears throat> I'm going to put them here on my handy-dandy Walmart copy holder. I've told you about this a while back. And I got it online. It was like $8, something like that. Best thing ever. I have two. One for upstairs and one for downstairs. It has really high power magnets. Holds this for me so that I can work on my quilt and be ready for it. Let me minimize this. Oh, I see I might have an email. Somebody might want a pattern. Let me see. Did, no, no, nobody yet. Okay. Must be my regular email. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Oh, okay. That was a different email, guys. All right. So let me go back down to my, I have to toggle back between personal email and our time to quilt email. And that's hard for Deb. <laughs> so here we go. All right. So if you want a copy of these patterns, then let me know. Send me an email. I wrote the address our time to quilt at twc.com. All right. Um, <clears throat> I realized my necklace wasn't showing. I want to show 
show my little necklace? I got it from Cyworks. So now it's called, um, I forget, it's, it's renamed, but it was here in Winston-Salem. And it's a science, children's science center, and it's a slice of agate. I love this kind of stuff. This necklace cost me all of $4, and I adore it because I love agate. It's so beautiful. Let me see if I can zoom in. An agate is a slice of a geode. Okay, let's see. See that? Isn't that beautiful? So it was a rock. It still has the raw edges here. And it was a rock, and I guess it's like compressed crystals. And it was sliced open. Oh, how close do you want to see my wrist? I'm having a hard time figuring. Aha! All right. So anyway, so that's my little necklace today, and I wanted you to see it. But I, I, I love this kind of stuff. I would rather have this than diamonds. In fact, when Mark got me a ring, I didn't want a new diamond ring because I've heard too much about the diamond trade. So he found, he found a, um, we found, or I found a, an antique that has sapphires and diamonds that from a time gone by. Anyway, enough of that, enough of that. All righty. You love my colors today. Thank you for the quilt or me. <laughs> you never know around here. I just felt like a blue day. And then it kind of it kind of offsets the Yes, vintage diamonds, something that's been mined before. It's already happened. <laughs> and I love sapphires. My favorite color is blue. So anything kind of blue is good for Deb. Well, Knitting Fox Montana is here. Laundered Cotton. Oh, I love that name. Laundered Cotton. Welcome here. Welcome, people. I was going to tell you last. Oh, wow. I need to. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for accepting me with my flaws. This is real life. In fact, you know, it's funny because. I, when I, I said, I want to just go on and talk to them like we're sitting at a kitchen table. And I might knock over my drink or the dog comes in muddy. Things happen. And then um, I'd like to show you, okay, this is what I intended, but this is what's happened. How do we fix it? What do we do with it now? Sometimes you give it away. Sometimes you throw it away. If it drags you down, get rid of it. So... I shouldn't say that maybe that was a lot like my first husband, but that might not be a good thing to say. So anyway, Kiwi is not down here. Kiwi has developed the terrible twos, which in a way is not so terrible, but Kiwi is now turned into a wanderer. She's very, very brave and just jumps into the great unknown. And it's so cute because Mark and I, we at night we sit we share a sofa that has recliners on each end and she gets up on the back of the sofa now and walks down to him sneaks down the back of the sofa and nips his ear that's not his favorite thing you'd be surprised but it's not his favorite thing for the, some of y'all who don't know kiwi is a green cheek conure um, she's a lighter headed cinnamon color version and green cheek. The cheek part is appropriate because she's very cheeky and uh, that little rascal. I mean, the things she thinks of to do. I don't know where she gets this stuff. It's not like I'm sassy or anything, <laughs> but anyway, she'll pull his hair and then run. And what it is is she's trying to figure out who he is. She knows he's something important. And he'll come every once in a while, give her a treat, or he'll get her up on his hand and take her back to her big cage. But um, so I, I, I like to think of it as flirting. I don't think he really regards it as the kind of flirting he appreciates. So I'm trying to get some Coca-Cola. I didn't eat before I got on here, and I'm a little shaky. Okay. 
So let me catch up with what you've said, okay? The b pattern for the Bargello, Diana, I can, I don't have the pattern, but I can talk to you about it in just a moment. You're busy making dinner. That's fine, saddlebags. Don't let it burn either, darling. <laughs> so, oh, sorry. I went and closed the other. Diane said she was trying to figure out which live stream room to get in. Because I kind of pre-advertised in two other spaces and didn't realize people can go there and sit and wait. So I had to go and delete those real quick. Sorry about that. I'll try to be more careful in the future. In fact, what happens is like today I was running late, running around, curlers in my hair going, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> so Mark came and set it up, and he just started a new live stream. But I'll, I'll be more careful. Um, yeah, I love the, the purple blue. That's Connecting Threads Fabric from way back when they were a new company, early company. And I wanted it to look like dust-colored icy snow. So I think that kind of works. <clears throat> oh, sorry. You didn't get a notice. Hmm. I'm sorry about that. And um, one of the things I, um, Melissa, Miss Cooper Dane, I um, was telling him I was, I got distracted looking for hotel rooms for us when we go to that show. And I think we're going to have to get just plain rooms. And I found some cheaper than the supposed discounts price. Now, whether that means it comes with the shuttle service, probably not. But we'll, I, I, I have them and we'll get, I'll get right on that as soon as this is over. But Mark looked at me and said, it's 2.30. Are you supposed to be getting ready? It's amazing. I lose myself on the computer. So, okay. So let me see. What else? I'm so glad you like it. I, I was trying to remember, have I shown you that before or not? And I said, I'm so late today. I'm showing them again. So, oh, and you know what? Maybe you're seeing my um, Matsuri behind it. So I'll move the Bargello and let you see my Matsuri. That's done with a lot of Jenny Beyer fabrics. And you know, I am Jenny Byers' fondest fan. Yes. So, all right. So now, oh, you're talking. Um, thank you, Melissa. I will have to show them that next week. That is my check mark, and it's the two fabric Bargello. And I'll I'll have that up next week. So. Um, it probably would be a good thing for me to do. Let me write that down, Diane, to make a video of a Bargello. They're very easy. Not like they were in the old days, but video of Bargello. Okay. Um, with Bargellos, you used to have to cut out all these tiny pieces and sew them together. Now you make strip sets. So you decide if you want 14 colors, you, you sew those in a strip set. And then you slice them different widths depending on the movement up or down. Knitting Fox. Yep, she's back. Bonnie. Diane 57. I love this laundered cotton. Doesn't that sound like a, a spring day? And that beautiful smell that laundry takes on in the sun. What a cool name. So... Don't knock it onto the keyboard. Oh, God. Oh, honey, I did that one time. I, I think it was hot cocoa. Ruin that keyboard. So don't lose your drink on the keyboard is her advice. All right. Now. <laughs> Y'all are so cute. Gosh. Reminds you of a cityscape. I have a cityscape I'll have to show you. Um. You can drive. Good, good, good. Okay. So, um, I did check the adjoining um, motel, Melissa. Totally booked. But I think I've got one almost within walking distance. So, okay. Uh-oh. I hope you can see backwards. 
I wonder when y'all get on this chat, do you only see what happens from the moment you join or do you see backwards what happened before? So, okay, let's see. Um, let me get down here. All right. <clears throat> so, I think... <laughs> like a movie set. Do you notice notice this table? You can actually see my cutting table now. You haven't been able to see my cutting table for two months. I spent five hours down here yesterday. I mean, oh, cleaned out this drawer, this drawer right here that had wrappers of stuff that has long been missing from it, packaging with nothing in it. So, so here we go. Okay. Bonnie got the circles again. Okay. So, I think I'm down to the beginning. Let's get going. Jamie's Crafty World. Hello. Hello. Oh, Susan Smith is back. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Um, Jamie's Crafty World. You watched last weekend, but was sewing so could not chat. We're glad to have you, and we're glad to have you chatting. So I guess, oh, and Bonnie, you know, I've been doing cleaning around the house because now that I'm getting better, I still have a, you know, stuffy nose and a raspy voice, but I'm, I'm definitely getting better. I was cleaning upstairs some, too, and you won't believe what I found. I found a mail packet you sent, I don't know how long ago. And it has this pattern in it. Isn't that cool? That's another prize, guys. We'll have to, maybe in a week or two, we'll do another drawing. Then you had these two easy quilting templates. Look at these. This is a spinning star. That looks like that would be a lot of fun. And then, look at this from Jordan Fabrics. Look at this. This is a wonderful, this is a pre-cut rail fence quilt pattern. Finishes 32 by 48. Isn't that cute? Perfect for a child who loves dinosaurs. Oh, so I will put these with the, I mean, Bonnie has sent us a ton of stuff. So get ready in maybe two weeks. I'm trying to, th no, let me see when I can do another drawing. I didn't realize I have my Myrtle Beach quilt party coming up in 10 days. Less than that now, nine days. Can't find the pattern I, that I, I found proof. I ordered it. Don't know where it is. Then I found out I can't find them anywhere. They're sold out everywhere. And I had to run find some fabric because I haven't ordered any fabric and I'm taking two classes. But I think I found stash. Yay. Are you proud of me, Bonnie? I'm using stash. You know what will cause you to start using stash is realizing when I go, most likely stuff in this room, if I'm not careful, is going to get thrown out. You know how much money that would be throwing away? So, number one, I'm going to start dedicating and put right, put right written instructions of what to do with my stuff. And where it should go, because I'd rather it go to you or local group than just go out to the trash. So I'm going to do that. Then, while I'm thinking about it, this brain is going all the time. Gets me in trouble, girlfriends. But where is that page? I had a page here that I was going to show you. <clears throat> oh, here it is. I have seen some of these things available on different sites. Now, this is out of date, but you won't believe what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking 2019, New Year, fresh start, especially when I was doing all this cleaning out. I'm thinking of taking a binder. I have these old binders just sitting around doing nothing. I've even got some plastic page protectors, and I've got dividers. I'm thinking of making a binder 
of all my projects. I can't promise you I'm going to do this, but it, it sounds like a cool idea. And I want to make a page. I'll probably design my own. If I do, I'll give you the patterns for free. But I'm going to put a place for a picture of what the project should look like. And then where the project's located and the progress that I make on it. Would that be cool? Now, I'll have to do that about 50 times because that's how many UFOs I have. And then if I count in how many kits and fabric things I have, probably another 25 more than that. So I'm going to have a full binder, but it'll be kind of a nice reminder for me. And because I realized the other day I had lost this pattern, I had this quilt, a UFO I had been working on. Well, when I cleaned the rooms yesterday, I found it. Yay, Deb. So, because I, I had no idea where that quilt was. So anyway, I'll, we'll talk more about this as the year goes on, because you might want to do something like that too. Now, I know some ladies keep track of their stash. They measure it all and see how many yards they have and how much comes in and how much goes out. I'm not going to do that. That would take my fun away. But what I'm thinking, instead of it being a negative kind of, you know, diet, fabric diet, because I don't like diets of any kind, you can imagine. And, but I'm thinking of it being more of a, an incentive. These are the projects that I have. What would I like to work on today? I always feel like some points just down the road, my life is going to be so organized that I'll sit there and ask myself that in the morning. I'll drink a hot cup of tea and say, hmm, what do I feel like working on today? I know Bonnie is probably laughing, spitting out her coffee because gals, it's probably not going to happen. What happened? Oh, no. Oh. Sorry, I kind of moved the mouse and lost your screen. But, uh, oh, where I got the fabric from. Now, you know, that's a really good point, Bonnie. Cola, not <laughs> um, But if we kept track of where we bought fabric from, inevitably when we run out, we'd know where to go back and find it. I like that. I will add that to the list, Miss Bonnie. Hot tea with milk. I love hot tea with orange juice in it. Oh, yum. So, <clears throat> let me see what you've got. I will do a video of the Myrtle Beach quilt party. You know, I love taking y'all everywhere. In fact, Melissa, when we go to ours, we'll take them to that too. Yep, yep, yep. Wherever I go, I want to take you with me. That will be a lot of fun. Okay. So, all right. So, y'all kind of like the idea of maybe we can start, you know, anybody that wants to, remember this is your time. This is your quilting. It's your life. You get to decide. No one else. And don't let anybody guilt you in it, not into it, not even me. But if you like the idea, maybe together we'll work on kind of getting a binder of sorts. And I think I'll just feel more organized. Sometimes I'll make a list of like what things I need to work on. And, but I make them in odd places and lose them. This binder will be a go-to. And uh, I think it'd be a fun way to keep track of what we've got and what kind of progress we make. So if nothing else, it'll act as a little journal, you know, of your life. So and if you want to try it, we can try it. And, yeah, I like the orange juice in my tea because it kind of, it gives it a fresh taste. And uh, so. Oh, Bonnie, that's great. Maybe you can do a little, you know, tell me, tell us how to do that. That's a wonderful idea. I didn't know there was any place to get a number. So. <clears throat> And, you know, I've been saving my selvages lately. I don't know if maybe I'm just, I've got that my inner hoarder is coming out or what. But I really would like to do some things with the selvages. So. 
put the name of your UFOs on pieces of paper and then put it in a bag so you can pull out what project. Now, that's a cool idea. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to bring the Bargello. I've shown you what the, the treats that, um, Bonnie, I don't think I showed. I didn't show the big box I got from Bonnie. Hold on a second. Whoops. Let me move this. Got my landscape fabrics ready for this landscape quilt. Hold on a second. Uh, all right. This is the latest package I got from Bonnie. Is this woman incredible or what? Oh, my gosh. Now, look at this. How cute is this? This is flannel, polar bears, and penguins. So that'll be a prize. Oh, my gosh. This cute kitchen fabric. That, that will be fun. Oh, any of you who like retro kitchens? Then Christmas fabric. Wonderful nutcrackers for any of you that love collecting nutcrackers. Oh, my goodness. Then uh, Grant and the Generals of the Potomac. So that would be great if any of you are doing Civil War quilts. Then, oh, look at this. It's a note cube and matching pen. And that'd be great to keep in your purse to jot down ideas and things. Here is two yards of, of July 4th, Glory, Stars and Stripes, America, da -da -da -da, 1776 fabric. And then I think these are like napkins or tea towels that you can do embroidery on. Aren't they lovely? And four mini stockings for any of you who would like to turn them into gifts. Maybe pers personalize them. Never too early to start preparing for Christmas. Look at this pattern. Called Little Tulip Crossing. Beautiful pattern. Primitive gatherings. I love primitive gatherings. Love, 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 love. Another primitive gatherings. Look at this. Garden baskets. I have a quilt I'll show you. You might have to remind me. But I actually did a woven fabric basket on it. And I found that too yesterday when I was cleaning. Look at this wildflower. Uh, Miss Bonnie, this one might have to stay with Deb. I don't know if I told you. But back in Maryland, I was a master gardener. That's what I did before I became nutso about quilts. I used to start. I used to start almost, well, everything I could by seed. I've grown hosta from seed, crepe myrtle from seed, you name it. I had trays enough to fill up a four by eight sheet of plywood on sawhorses twice. I used to have two rotations. I'd have one daytime rotation, then they would go under the black plastic, and the, all the other trays would come out and go on top of the table, and I had seven shop lights hanging over them with grow bulbs. I was a little obsessed, wouldn't you say? <laughs> My kids were little, and I'd say, before we go to school, we gotta, you know, and so they would help me bring all the trays from up under the plastic, put on top of the table. Now, the question is, did I ever get them all planted? No. Nope. Got most of them, but not all of them. Here is a great, oh my gosh, look at this pattern. And you can make it for a cowgirl or a cowboy. That is so cute. All right. <clears throat> then she's got paper pieces with circles. Different sizes. That's important. Different sizes. And uh, with hearts. It, wouldn't that be a lovely prize? So look for this about the end of January um, to first week of February. We'll do a drawing. And remember, if you... Oh, these I'm probably going to keep too. I just... I love glitz and bling. 
And Miss Bonnie spoils me rotten by... Ooh, yeah, might have to keep these two. But um, what I'm going to be working on, we've got so much fun to look forward to because, my gosh, it's endless. And I'm really getting into... And this, this, this great big bag and three miniature card games. And in fact, is Patty Chamberlain here? Because this is a memory card game, and I'm thinking Little Miss Kenzie should have these. So I think I'm going to save those for Little Miss Kenzie. But thank you, Bonnie. Oh, my God. Is this a treasure trove of what? Or what? Mark came in carrying the box the other day. He goes, I have no idea what this is. They gave the poor postman a hernia. <laughs> So I'm going to put all this stuff in here. And just remember, if you haven't joined our Yahoo group, it might be a real good time to join. Oh, wait a minute. There were more things. There was, hold on, guys. American Quilting Society. It's kind of a yardage figure outer. Like a, works like a slide rule, but easier. And... A pattern, a ruler, and a really sweet card. And I love the flamingos. Oh, here's another pattern. Fit to frame, pattern 16. There's another pattern. And fantasy flowers, another pattern. So, we are going to have a big drawing from that. Now, if you would like to join our Yahoo group, it's kind of what we do here, but a little more. The ruler is metric. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me that. So any of you who are from Canada or, or just more familiar with metric, maybe Ann. If Ann pops in today, we'll see if Ann Shelbier, 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 that's it. If she pops in, we'll see if she would like that. The zip, oh, isn't this a great, this has got to be about five gallons. But that should be a prize too. Isn't that amazing? And it truly is Ziploc, and I think it's a five-gallon bag. Five or seven, something like that. But Miss Bonnie spoils us rotten. So if you would like to join our Yahoo group, our time to quilt at twc.com all right just send me an email and i will send you right back out our yahoo group ladies i don't know if you realize it's grown all of a sudden to 16 people and when i get my daily you know these are your yahoo groups ours always remains consistently up there with activity so i'm real pleased i'm pleased Oh, I know. I save all those. In fact, Mark bought me a box of 10-gallon bags, and that will store a, a ready-made quilt ready to go off to a project or a show or, or a trunk show. It would be nice to one day eventually have all my trunk show quilts put in bags like that. Thumbs up, please. So... <clears throat> uh oh, put on my glasses. Ah, put the mini card games in the mini stockings. Like that idea. So, but Bonnie, you're such a dear heart. You're such a dear heart. So, I've got to one day do something very special for Miss Bonnie. Y'all keep reminding me because she's just so special. All right. So. <clears throat> I don't know how she made. Look at these tiny. They're tiny dimensional stickers. These are going to come off of here and join my Flamingo collection. Because you know I have a Flamingo collection. And I'm getting ready to go to Myrtle Beach Quilt Party. And that's there. That's where I got my love of pink flamingos. Because that is their theme. All right. So... I was going to talk to you some more about the Lafleur quilt, 
but I didn't get anything done on it. And I'm very sorry. I'm a one trick pony and I get focused. I've got those blinders on. You know how they used to do with the horses? That's me. I had the blinders on to finish these beach patterns and I didn't get anything further done with the Le Fleur. So what I would say is since this is a no stress block of the month ish ish deal that we will just continue it on to next week and that way it'll give you time to catch up if you're messing with it. So and just for those of you who don't know what our Le Fleur quilt is we can send you flamingos from Hobby Lobby. Ah, okay. We can send you the website to the free pattern, and it's in here. I know it. I just have to find it. This is. I need to keep a, a little mini binder for this. But is this the prettiest quilt designed by Bobby Ashley? Isn't that beautiful? And I don't know if Bonnie has that, that shortcut to the site or just send me an email to OurTimeToQuilt.com and I will send you the shortcut to it. And then I did a few things like enlarging it to help you see how to place the applique. Last week at the sew-in, I showed four different kinds of applique. I've also made the templates for the applique and I'll be happy to send you a template to the applique and let me see we've got the layout comes in the free pattern online and here are the other templates so I will be working on this this week but I do want to tell you that my Myrtle Beach quilt party is coming up. And that's going to kind of be tricky in how to work um, work my live streams and especially my videos. I've got to get busy on those videos. I'm mostly well, but I still have a little nagging. And the moment I do anything, it's like I feel worse. Oh, those of you who hadn't seen, but I'm working through the LaFleur with you and trying to stay ahead of you just so that I can let you know of what things might be happening along the way. But this is going to be lovely. I'm so thankful to Bonnie for finding this. And um, I love it. Melissa found something that said, oh, I'd like to learn this. I love it. Fell in love with that. And then Bonnie sends me this one. Oh, I fell in love with that. I drop everything I'm doing and run, go do that. <laughs> But, okay, so let me check really quickly to see. It looks like I've got an email that might have come in. Three. Oh, baby. Okay. All right, Diane57, can you? Okay. Oh, okay, Bonnie. I'll get it for you. Diane, can you, Diane57, can you get on the Yahoo group? Because if you can, look for the files that say Beach Landscapes 1 and Beach Landscape 2. And, um, oh, here, oh, Kimberly Smith. Yes, I know you. Okay, great. Ah, love it. I'm going to have to check out your blog spot, girlfriend. All right. And um, Kimberly, I will send you. In fact, I like to go in right now. Send it to you so I don't forget. So hold on one second. And. All right. Going to the Yahoo group. Oh, I forgot to get. Let me get Cindy's. <clears throat> mm, pardon me. Oh my gosh, Bonnie has officially started Le Fleur. Woohoo! Oh, girlfriend, you want to see what she's got so far? She's done her first. Look at this. 
Bonnie, I'm so proud of you. She's done her first nine patch. And the fabrics are gorgeous. Oh, Bonnie, way to go. Yay, Bonnie. Way to go. I loved seeing it. I opened up and went, whoop, we got another picture. Thank you. That's great. All right. So I've got to go to our Yahoo group and management, manage invitations, and let me get Miss Laundered Cotton's email. And I'm not sharing that with y'all. That's just for us. So, and if you don't get this and just the invitation in just a few minutes, um, Kim, then please look in your junk email box or, or spam box. Okay, I'll go back. All right. And so anybody else who would like to join our Yahoo group, let me know. Is that easy? It's already sent, Miss Laundered Cotton. So I was hoping Lisa would be in here today. Where is our Lisa? Lisa. Okay. Now, Bonnie, I'm really tickled. Your nine patch looks great. The colors, the fabrics are beautiful. Doesn't it give you that? Oh, my gosh. I, Mark and I were watching a Rick Steves episode, and he's the guy who travels and does like a travel thing. And, oh, my God, the fabric, uh, the, these fabrics remind me of some of those old cathedrals. They're beautiful. Okay. You got it. Good job. Good job. Way to go, Kim. Okay, Mariella, I finally found a quilt group I can do. Thank you. Aw. That's great. Oh, do you have to get going, hon? I'm so glad you're here. We love having you as a member. This is a really nice group of people, and I just, I, I love you all. So, this is a good thing. All right. Now let's move on to the landscapes. I've got my landscape fabric right here. And I thought I would show you kind of how I pull landscape fabric out. So I am really, really tickled at Mariella's hair. Oh, my son did a live stream for New Year's Eve. And so Mark and I watched his band performed. And we watched and welcomed in the new year by watching my son and his wife perform. And it was beautiful. How wonderful. He ha is in a band, a very successful band in the Washington, Baltimore, uh, Maryland area. Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Maryland. And um, they're in the band with, so it's my, my son, his wife, his mother-in-law, and his father-in-law. And that's so nice to have a family. And, oh, they're an amazing, amazing band. They're called Oracle. If you ever want to look them up, beautiful. All right. Oh, okay. Oracle. O-R-A-C-L-E, I think. And my son's the drummer, Chris Johnson. So he has his own YouTube channel and does a fabulous job. Really good drummer. And a sweet just a sweet guy. All right. So, and they are going to have my grandbaby, my grandson, in just a couple months. I said, have you felt the baby kick really good now? He said, not only that, we watch her stomach move with the baby. So I said, oh, you're going to have a beautiful, healthy baby boy. So, all right. So this, this is what I want to show. Oh, wait a minute. Bonnie, I'm sorry. Let me get you those patterns, honey. Silly me. Hold on. I, when Miss Bonnie needs something, Miss Bonnie gets it. Hold on. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. All right. Let me get Miss Bonnie's patterns. All righty. <clears throat> I love, 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 love. Um, and Diane 57, if you can't get them off from the Yahoo site right now, I'll send them to you too. I was just thinking, well, I'm sending them to Bonnie. It might be quicker for you to grab them from the site, but go to our Yahoo site, look at files. And I have two separate folders, one for beach one, one for beach two and get download everything that's in both of them or, or number two, if you want to do scene number two. 
Scene number two, just to remind you people, I had a feeling scene number two, that's the one I started with. This is going to be the, the approximation of scene number two. And then beach number one start is mainly focused on sand dunes. It's part of this and part of this with a little ocean and this sunset incorporated. So, yay. All right. So now let me send these to Bonnie. Anybody else while I'm here in the email, send me an email to our time to quilt at TWT is in Tom WC.com. All right. Reply and attach. Let's see. Okay. Do, 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 do. My pictures. Then go to our time to quilt landscape. Now, where are they? Hmm. Hold on, guys. While I'm thinking about it, I would like very much to also st finally start a photo album of quilts I've made. I have to go through three computers worth <laughs> to gather them up. But you know what? I deserve that. I should do that. All right. I'm almost there, Miss Bonnie. It's funny because I, I approach folders from different directions, and then I'm like, uh, how do I get there? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Aha. I think I got it. Hmm. No, maybe not. I'm going to do a search. All right. As I was telling you last week, I've, I have not ever been trained on a computer, but I just kind of kind of got on the computer and said, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? That's how I try to do it. I, I'm not sure what it just did to my hair, but it was bugging me, so I put a headband on. All right. Beach landscape. Oh, here we go. Here they are. All right. I will send these in two emails, Miss Bonnie, because we don't want to crash the system, do we? Okay. So I'm now sending you out beach landscape number one. All right. And don't worry, some of you who might be, I'm getting ready to show you, and we're actually going to work on the landscape. Because I figured I'll be here till at least five. So... Yeah, come back anytime. <laughs> All right, now here is beach number two. Getting ready to. Mm. I wear makeup. In fact, Lisa was real sweet last week saying I was pretty, but I wear a ton of makeup on here, and then it drives me nuts. I'm not, I'm not used to makeup. Okay. But... It's like, Lisa, just the makeup, trust me. <laughs> okay, let me see. Beach number two. Okay, beach number two. Okay. Miss Bonnie, let me know if you're getting these. I've now sent both to you, and uh, I don't see any emails from anyone else. I'm le let me go back to the video and see if Miss Diane's been able to get hers. Um, I do not have my quilts insured. Never thought about it, because I just think of them as my cute little thing. Oh, and Bonnie, I'm now ready to hear your Le Fleur question. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I got to tell you a cute story about number two. I was, my son was about three or four and I, he was, he was in the little basket in the front little seat of the, of the buggy. And I was taking him up and down the grocery store aisles with me. And he looked over and saw a package of link sausages. And he looked at me with this look of horror and said, people don't buy that, do they? And I knew exactly what he was thinking. I was like, it's okay, Dad. That's not, this is something else. (laughs) But, you know, the poor little child, people don't buy that, do they? They're like, no, they don't. They don't. Trust me. Oh, gosh. Okay, I won't stop until at least five. (laughs) You got me, Kim. I'm here. Oh, beach number one looks, reminds you of the trip to Saginaw. Looks just like Lake Michigan. That's a, that, thank you. Mark um, was born in Windsor just across, I think Lake Michigan is right there, isn't it? Um, But right across from Detroit, Mark was born in Windsor, Canada, and then grew up in, um, gosh, what's the name of it? Um... And, you know, anyway, he grew up Michigan. <laughs> so, it'll come. Livonia and one starts with a B. It's a British word. I forgot. Anyway. Okay. What color are you using for the center of the, okay. What color I'm using for that? I'm so glad you asked. And a couple other things I did differently. I noticed on some of the buds that she used a fabric that was a black print and had a little bit of pink and black and white and tan. Well, I wanted my buds to be very discernible. So I have, hold on, my color should be right here. Um. Oh, poo. I must have it upstairs. Okay. I'm using this color. And it's a peachy beige. Okay. And I got it from... I got it because it, it, it matched. Hold on. Okay. There's a peachy beige in this. Do you see this peachy beige right in this little thing. And so I matched it and got a really good blender fabric. So it's a peachy beige. But I thought, let's put this in the center that will match all the bud shapes in the applique. So here's a bud shape. Here's one. Even these out here. Because one thing that I have never liked And if you notice the pattern, I'll show you. Let me show you the close-up. You'll see what I mean. Okay. 